Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Heizi. I'm a working mom of an almost three-year-old toddler named Alina and I'm 27 weeks pregnant with our baby number two. Today's video is a day in the life. Today I'm starting my day preparing Korean breakfast. We are tired of having the same breakfast every day and we decided to switch things up a few weeks ago. We feel that our usual breakfast like wheat bix oatmeal or cereals are not keeping us full all morning long and we're not having enough veggies during the day so we thought having Korean breakfast which typically includes more veggies are going to be better for our family. So we decided to try out this new routine and see if it works. A typical Korean breakfast usually includes rice, soup and several side dishes made of meat and veggies. Alina's going to daycare at 8.30. I'm working this afternoon. My shift starts at 2.30 and finishes at 11 o'clock at night. So my husband's going to pick up Alina from daycare this afternoon. I'll be home by 11.30. So I have a really long day ahead of me. I'm That's right. After going to the loo, Alina is going to pick out her outfit. Alina likes to open all of the drawers and consider every single option she has, which usually takes some time to make the decision. This has become the biggest frustration point for me. Getting dressed isn't a problem anymore. She's definitely mastered the skills. It's when she wants to change her mind over and over again after getting dressed. This is the time I really have to channel my inner patience. Unless we're rushing out the door, I let her change her outfit once or twice. <laughs> Alina takes gummy vitamins and fish oil before we get out the door. She knows that she's only allowed one a day each. She's never wanted or tried to have more, so we just leave them here at the entry. I'm 
After I drop Alina off at the daycare, I got a million things to do before I go to work. I need to do the dishes, do the laundry, get my dinner ready and get my husband's lunch ready for tomorrow. And most importantly, I need to do Alina's toy rotation because Alina and I will stay at home tomorrow. I get really tired in the morning after a late shift. So I want to make sure the playroom is full of interesting toys and activities. So hopefully I can get some rest in the morning while Alina's busy with her activities. Now I'm going to rotate Alina's toys real quick. I've been watching her in the last couple of days while she was playing to see what she was interested in and I sort of made a mental note myself. So firstly I'm going to remove some of the activities from the shelf. These are the activities Alina was not really engaging with and she wasn't interested. We have a toy closet here. It's a small hallway closet where I store all of Alina's toys and activities. It's a place where Alina does not have access to it so that I can rotate activities from here every now and then. I made this new toy organization system only about a month ago and I made a video how I categorized and organized all of Alina's activities. So if you're interested, I'll be sure to link the video down below for you to check out. Now I'm going to make a pouring activity. I have three glass jars with indicator lines so that Alina's to pour water up to where the lines are. I have a video all about how to DIY Montessori practical life activities at home so make sure you check the description box down below if you're interested. We had this activity about a few months ago. She had a lot of fun for a while and then she gradually lost her interest so I removed it from our shelf and then I saw her pouring water from cup to cup in the bath the other day so I'm thinking Thinking it's time to reintroduce this pouring activity. As far as the rotation goes, you don't have to change every week or two, you just really observe your child and follow their lead. I rotate our shelves once a month maybe. I try not to stress myself out over it, I just really watch her while she's playing every now and then and I just change out one or two, maybe three things at a time and see if she likes them. Thank you. 
These are Montessori math beads. The Montessori method uses colored beads to visually represent the quantity of a number. Alina's learning to count from 1 to 10 with this setup. I'm thinking of making a video about Montessori mathematic activities for toddlers, so if that's something you're interested in watching, or if there's anything you would like me to do a video about, feel free to leave comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Finally home from work and ready for a good night's sleep. I'm going to quickly check on Alina, take a shower and go to bed. This is what our usual Fridays look like. I hope you guys enjoyed our day in the life video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!